Do not watch this video if you like bland tofu, because after you learn how to make peepa tofu or tofu nuggets, you'll never go back. This crispy, savory delight will impress even the pickiest of eaters. Peepa tofu is the most advanced tofu recipe we've ever shared, so keep watching as my dad teaches us how to make this beautifully unique tofu dish from prep to plate, starting with the veggies. <laughs> 一拍切到四下 Start by quartering 10 ounces of bok choy or your vegetable of choice 足夠了蝦呢就先這樣先蝦蝦我這裡用四安匙的蝦這隻蝦是 Here my dad tears the legs off of the shrimp then follows by removing the entire shell 搣了之後呢放開它 Next, slice almost but not all the way through the shrimp to butterfly it. This will make it easier to clean and help with mashing later. To level up your confidence in cutting all kinds of ingredients, check out our comprehensive masterclass on knife techniques in the Kanto Cooking Club. To get access, check out club.mewithlao.com. Next, we'll wash and devein the shrimp in a bowl. After washing, squeeze your shrimp to remove any excess water and set it aside. Using a kitchen or paper towel, pat dry your tofu to remove excess water. After mashing, set your tofu aside in a large mixing bowl. How come you can't use soft tofu? You know who ties up? Too, too much water. Mm -hmm. A bit mushy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you cannot be too, too mushy for this. Mm -hmm. Next, using your knife, mash your shrimp with a slap and pull motion. Next, using your knife, mash your shrimp with a slap and pull motion. Next, using your knife, mash your shrimp with a slap and pull motion. Next, using your knife, mash your shrimp with a slap and pull motion. Next, using your knife, mash your shrimp with a slap and pull motion. Next, using your knife, mash your shrimp with a slap and pull motion. Next, using your knife, Ah,就是你煮到個方法是這樣做的了,是吧?這樣。We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step by step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. Using your hands, mix and squeeze the tofu mixture until everything becomes well combined. After mixing, next we'll prepare our sauce. In a bowl, combine two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, and four tablespoons of water. Then stir to mix. Once combined, set your sauce aside and get ready to blanch your vegetables. Shocking the bok choy in cold water will stop the cooking and keep them a nice, vibrant green color. Be 
就俾油上去。Heat up 12 ounces of oil to around 325 degrees Fahrenheit. For today's dish, we're using corn oil, but you can use any high smoke point oil such as vegetable or peanut oil. 如果你冇呢個咧，用筷子，筷子俾落去之後咧，多啲唔得鋪上嚟就 OK 啦。我哋而家咧整示範俾大家睇下先嚇，少少油啦呢度。呢、这個匙羹咧就落少少油，落少少油上去，即係佢放倒出嚟嘅時候咧，佢唔會黐住嘅匙羹。嘅意思就係咁樣。While your oil heats up, we'll form the tofu into the paypot shape. Using soup spoons, pack a heaping spoon full of the mixture into about four to five spoons. My dad uses his hand to cup and help form the shape in the spoon. 俾手撳細佢，撳平佢，突少少出嚟都冇問題。嚇，啊細佢。我哋而家咧將。Using another spoon, my dad carefully removes the mixture from the soup spoon in order to not ruin the shape. But if it breaks, no worries. Yeah. 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 The pear shape of peipa tofu is very intentional, named after the peipa, the instrument behind the soundtrack you're currently listening to. It is a traditional Chinese lute that's been around as early as the Han Dynasty. With its four strings and signature pear-shaped wooden body, it's a timeless instrument that's filled the halls of Chinese imperial courts for thousands of years. That served as the backbone of one of my favorite songs growing up, Aqueous Transmission by Incubus, and the inspiration for the dish we're making today. After you finish frying them all, we'll prepare for a second fry. Ah, if you open the most high fire, ha, open the most high fire, fan it up, the oil is high, so it will be very fast. Let the oil get into the inside. Do you understand? When it reaches 400 degrees, it will fall down. Okay, now it's hot. It's hot. Put it in. Ah, you see? Once the oil is at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, we'll add all of the tofu back in. Ah, now. 再炸一炸，翻炸下佢，翻曬二十分鐘都夠啦，少時間得。The second fry will help get our tofu extra crispy and release some excess oil. After about one minute, remove your tofu and strain any excess oil. Kat from the Kanto Cooking Club asks, instead of deep frying, can you bake or pan fry these? 氣炸鍋得嘅。煎又，如果係煎咧，就煎得佢扁曬啦，唔得，因為多啲唔啲油啦。Cameron's eating it. Cameron, you like it? Yeah, he ate already a half. Wow, good. I'm now going to use this pan, so I'm going to pan it. My dad uses a towel here to grip the pan for safety, and so he has an easier time holding the pan closer to its center of mass. We can use the pan to pan it. We can use the pan to pan it. Now, let's put it in the pan. Let's put it in the pan. Let's put it in the pan. To finish the sauce, we'll first add the sauce mixture we made earlier into a pan with a bit of oil. Next, we'll make a slurry in a separate bowl with cornstarch and water. This is the slurry. It's the same. Don't mix it up. Put two cups of water in the pan. Let's mix it up. Let's mix it up. On medium heat, once your sauce starts to bubble, slowly add your slurry. 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 Your sauce should have a light yet thick enough consistency to be able to slightly stick to the back of your spoon. That's enough. I don't want to give it to you. Just open the fire and open it. Now you need to open it. Open it, then the 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 once your sauce is complete, you are now ready to plate. My dad likes to arrange the vegetables around the edge of the plate and pile the tofu in the center. Now we're finally ready to serve our family, and don't forget the sauce. Peipa tofu, it's cooked. Now we're ready to serve our family, and don't forget the sauce. Cheers! Jose? No bang bang bang. Yeah, no bang bang bang. No bang bang bang. Okay. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. A huge thank you to our rock stars and all of our chefs in the Kanto Cooking Club. 